Today in the show, I'm going to be answering the question, what is hell from DC Comics? Two quick things before we get started. Number one, this is going to be a slightly shorter video than normal because I'm actually at London Super Comic Con this weekend, so I'm doing last minute cosplay preparation, so my time is very much jam packed. Secondly, I have started a vlogging channel and I think the first video is already up. The link is down below and on the screen somewhere right now, so please go and check that out. Okay, now on to the video. So hell, it's something that most of the world's major religions actually have a version of. But in terms of DC Comics, it's actually a home for demons. And over time, it became a home for lost or damned souls that were barred from heaven and purgatory. There have been a number of rules of hell over the years, but no matter what, the ruler of hell has the title of the devil. The most notable ruler of hell is probably Lucifer Morningstar, who ruled hell for thousands of years and then just got bored and decided to go and live on Earth. And this is where Neron decided he was going to rule hell. Hell is divided up into nine provinces, and each of these provinces has its own leader. And these leaders bow down only to the devil. It is worth saying though that Lady Blaze actually had the ability to promise damned souls freedom, which is something that Neron couldn't do, so she would eventually lead a rebellion and Neron would get tossed off his throne, and Lady Blaze would begin ruling hell as the devil, but to do this she had to betray her brother. It's a whole thing that we really don't have time for today. So the main thing about hell that you need to take note of though is souls. Souls make the underworld go round. They are a type of currency, people deal with souls, and people make things using souls. They make things from food to furniture. As a human in the DC Universe, you would actually have the ability to sell your soul to a demon, be it for money, power, good fortune, health, anything you wanted, you could pretty much gain by selling your soul. What happens to your soul after the demon has it is really a case-by-case -case basis kind of thing. Some demons would just kind of make your soul into something. Other demons would kind of say, hey, I need a slave, and they would put you to work for them for eternity. It really just depends on the demon and how lazy they are. Demons are not all powerful though. They have been outsmarted a number of times, the most notable of which is the time that John Constantine actually outsmarted three demons to cure his cancer. Finally, something that some humans with demonic heritage have the ability to do is to extract demonic essences from people, thus freeing them from their contracts, but it brings the contract on to them. For example, this is person A and this is person B. If person B were to extract a demonic contract from person A, the contract is now on person B. And say demon A is Neron, person B is now going to lose their soul to Neron. But this person B's soul is not as valuable to Neron because it's essentially a demonic soul and person A was just a human soul. When it comes to hell and demons, once again, it is just grey versus grey. No two demons are going to be just as evil as each other. And there are even good guy demons. For example, Raven. She is a demon. She looks like a person, but she's a demon and she's good. Hell is just like any other part of the DC universe. You've got some good, you've got some bad, and you've got some ugly. But it's never just all bad, or never just all good. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of Hell? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics, and it is super effective.